The first of about two dozen juvenile offenders are spending their first night in Angola. Ten of the state's most violent teens moved there this morning. Governor John Bell Edwards first announced the controversial plan months ago after a series of violent breakouts at OJJ facilities. News News Brandy B. Harris has more on what is now being called the West Feliciana Center for Youth. Formerly used to house death row inmates and set with a maximum of 24 beds, the Office of Juvenile Justice's newest facility for the most troubled youth offenders is receiving its first occupants. We feel like this building is at a space or at a point where we could start receiving children. The move of juveniles to the state penitentiary at Angola follows a series of breakouts from other OJJ facilities which have open dormitory settings. <laughs> Officials say the newly renovated West Feliciana Center for Youth allows them to safely secure each juvenile. What this building will allow us to do is ensure that our young people have their own room space and when it's time for them to go to sleep, they can sleep in a secure manner. That we are going to make certain that the kids that come to this program are the kids that can't function on our um, uh, secure care facilities with the open dormitory, so they have to come to this facility to have that individual um, uh, bedding. The decision to move juveniles to the adult penitentiary sparked big controversy. Advocates for the juvenile offenders say sending kids to adult jail puts them in danger. OJJ disagrees. The nearest adult campus is 1.5 miles away from our campus. We feel very confident that our young people will be able to be housed here without having any interaction with any adult inmates. In Baton Rouge, Brandy B. Harris, WBRZ News 2. According to OJJ, their goal is to temporarily house the juveniles at Angola to work with them in a more intense fashion before reintegrating them to one of the state's other facilities.